Hi everyone, this is Jay Harris coming to you from Tom's Trading Room. I'm going to call this video presentation Tooling Around because we've had some questions come in in the past and recently about how we can search up a list of stocks based off certain criteria like by way of slippage, stock price, volume, average, and the like. So I'm going to show you how to do that again. I'm going to show you how to take the results of that uh, list filtering process, create a new list, and then a recent request was how can we search by way of the uh, percentage price change on a day for each of these stocks in a particular list. So let's get to all of that, shall we? To start your list filtering process, hover over the website tab, hover over lists, and then left click on filter list. You're going to bring up the uh, filtering list page. It'll say filter slippage. We have over here in the wizards, it says right now that we've selected the 2% slippage and merge removal. If you don't see the wizard criteria on your left, go ahead and click on show. If it looks like this where it's hidden, just go ahead and left click on the hyperlink show and it'll bring in the wizard criteria panel to the left. And you'll see here you can do by stock price, volume, open interest, option volume, and other factors right here. Now on the uh, slippage, what that's looking at is the difference between the bid and ask of an option premium or an option quote. We want the difference between the bid and ask to be 2% or less of the stock price. What we're looking for there is how much the stock or the security needs to move in order to, in order to cover the spread. And we want it to have to move as little as possible. So we'll start with the 2%. You'll see that we can do 1% as well. But let's start with the 2% slippage and merge removal. You'll see that it's selected down here as well. And let's do it on the all optionable stocks and indices. Let's just take a look at as many as we can and then click on search. Now one thing you're going to recognize is that it's going to take a little bit of time for it to go through all of the stocks and indices to get that list produced for us. And it's going to run a search over 30 seconds max. And then however many it can pull in in that 30 seconds will be your results list. Now I've opened up another page for getting into the tools and I'm going to show you that where you have website lists and edit lists you're on this page and if there's a default list like Penny and Weekly already there you're going to see the edit list name Penny and Weekly and all the symbols in that list. If you want to select a blank list find one of those that are list with a number like this one has list 11 click on that and you'll see that there's no stocks or symbols in the box just yet. So let's go back to our page for the stock list filter and we're going to see that we have 988 so far. So that's quite a number of stocks to have to go through, 988. So how do we pare that down? And again, you can go all the way to the bottom of the list and see those full 988. But we want to be more efficient with our time. So let's run a 1% bid ask slippage. You can click on it right there, or you can even go down here and type it in where it says option bid ask spread average percentage, change the two to a one, and then click on search leaving it on the same list that we did the search on. It'll run another search over the next 30 seconds and you can see the timer counting right here for us up to the 30 seconds that it's going to take before it produces uh, the list hopefully with a smaller number of candidates to choose from. And when I did this the last time it came back with about 400. So 400 is a lot better than 900 and we're just about there to see what the actual number is on this. Here we go. We are now looking at, there we go, 442 stocks. So now, right here in the search output area where it says stocks to the list, if it doesn't say list 11 or a list and a number, click on that drop down, find one of those. If you're full with all the list numbers uh, with other stock lists, and you can see my various other names here, if there's one that you're not using anymore or using hardly at all, you could click on that one and then just click on replace. But let's go ahead and find one that's a blank list and I showed you that list 11 was and I don't have to replace any of those symbols because there are no symbols so I'll just left click on add. And When I click on add it will tell me that the 442 ranked unique stocks were added to list 11. Now I'm going to go back over here to the other tab that I had open for list 11 and I'm just going to refresh the page. 
and click retry bring it in and now you'll see that those 442 stocks are there for list 11 so now I can just go ahead and create a new name and I'm just going to type in for the sake of this video new name <laughs> and then I'm going to click save so now I have the new name list with those 442 stocks so what I've shown you thus far is a doing a list filter uh, or, or filtering of a list based off certain criteria we chose the one percent slippage we've created these stocks into a new list gave it a name and now one of the recent questions was can I search by the percentage change and yes you can do that we may even have another video in the library on this but right now let's go ahead and go up to the stocks stock rankers and you'll find the line item for close percent change and you'll see that we want to have it on the number of trading days between stock changes to one one day so what's the percentage change in a day and let's click for both bullish and bearish let's under the stock list name choose that new name that you uh, just typed in I left it at new name you can select whichever that you'd like or the new one that you just created and then left click on search and this one's going to come back fairly quickly and it's going to show you on those 442 stocks now the percentage change on the day so if you want to look at like our last student that emailed in says I want to see things that are changing 25 percent a day now this guy was a penny stock trader so maybe 25 percent is too high for you guys but if there is a percentage change that you favor or that you like um, go ahead and click on this process and you'll see the change percentage listed both for the negative percentage change and positive percentage change and it ranks it as you see right here it's highlighted change percentage because that's what you're searching the list for so there you go folks we just tooled around a little bit we uh, filtered a list down by a certain set of criteria and then we can also go ahead and look for a percentage change on that and anything else that you want to search upon a particular list go to that scan or that search select the new name in this case or whatever name of the list you created and run your searches on that that's it for now see you on future videos hope you had fun with that bye now